This brute came in from Virginia Tech. It's a, it's a monstrous knife, but it's got good proportions. It's got a decent thinness, about a, about a fat 3 16 The Ricasso back here is, is quite tall. It doesn't really need to be that tall. And what that does is it makes the handle look really small and spindly. Usually the top of the handle, you'd like to be in line with the spine of the blade. And the bottom of the Ricasso is usually met with a bit of handle as well. They usually, this is kind of generally, if you look at a lot of knives, it should extend from there, which would make a really big handle, which is why you'd want to make the Ricasso a little smaller. That being said, the, the guard proportions that are on here are really good. That's a very handsome looking guard. I like that it's integral to the blade. That's really awesome. But in general, that's, that's a hell of a chopper. It comes to a nice fine edge. So I think this is gonna do really well. Straight off the bat, that's a cool looking hammer. You know, the, the, the fact that there's, there's a negative space inside is just gorgeous. The, the cast is flawless. There was some deformation on the face from some of our testing, a little bit of a smear on the side here, but you know, not too much. I mean, this is probably has the least damage from the ball bearings of, of any of the hammers, uh, certainly up here. And you know, it's got a little unicorn horn spiral here. It's a lot of fun to hold on to. Yeah, yeah, and again, the detail, the super fine detail in, in the knot work on this, and all in all, the, the design and quality is just, just outstanding. Of these four, we had to pick one winner, and uh, all of us, uh, the three judges, all talked to each other, and I think we came up with the winner of this contest, and the winner is Pittsburgh State University. This one's super good. This one hit well in the impact test with the ball bearings, did not def deformate much. And like all of these, the, the finish was really hardly impacted at all by any of these tests. Yeah, and just right off the bat, on the table, it has an interesting look. And that was the first thing that, that struck me picking it up. And yeah, it swung great and it smashed the hell out of stuff. So nice job, Pitt State. The University of Wisconsin Pioneers. This is an amazing blade. It's uh, super thin, it's super sharp. I was able to cut a pool noodle standing up with this thing, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I can't tell that this was a cast blade. I don't see any indication of testing on the edge at all. It's still razor sharp all the way down. Your pummel and handle are really comfortable, really well proportioned, and everything about this guard and, and pummel are rounded over, comfortable, and a, just a joy to hold. You have got a very, very shiny blade here. This thing has got a mirror polish on it. This is a fast blade for fast motion, and, and a Zyvos um, leaf blade was a secondary blade, so when you lose your first, you want your other one to get out pretty quick and start moving. And in regards to the video, you show so many different dimensions from the design phase through the, the solidification modeling. Every single part of that video showed an intense depth of understanding of metallurgical processes and a good series of them to give a, a, an incredible blade. Amazing. Love it, love it, love it, love it. The overall shape of the blade, hang, the pommel, the whole thing as a unit looks really good and it worked really well and it survived all the testing unmarred. So really well done. My heart was beating so fast when they picked us. It just felt great. All my exhaustion was wiped away. My heart kept pumping. It was great. It was a great time overall. This spear comes in from Cal Poly Pomona, the Steel Broncos. This is a beautiful spear. All of the judges agreed the shape of this spear and the casting ability that went into it is really well done. I like everything about this spear. It performed really well and it was uh, just absolutely on another level of beauty. So really well done. So our inspiration for the authenticity of the spear was the Zonde tribe. We really were inspired by the how ferocious and how scary the spear looked. It really struck out to us as different from the other spears from African tribes. So we were really drawn to it in the beginning of our selection process. We have the grand prize winner, Graduate Gorillas. Nice. This bar is amazing. It's obviously wicked strong. It obviously performed all our testing without any damage of any kind. I don't know what alloy you used for this, but it, it rocks. This 
So I actually did an internship just outside of Nashville, Tennessee, and they cast a few Halligan bars for a company. One of my professors is a volunteer fireman. I got to talk with him when they announced that the cast and steel was going to be uh, Halligan bars. I already kind of had an idea what they were. So I did a lot of research, talked to as many people as I could, and just got opinions and uh, as much information from them as I could. Found some great information online from a lot of different resources that really helped me understand exactly what I needed to do and exactly what this tool needed to be able to execute and everything about it. So Cast and Steel is a amazing competition and getting students to just walk all the way through a project from talking to the customer and understanding what it is the customer wants to seeing that product uh, in the end. That whole entire process is a huge part of understanding the industry. No matter what you're doing, if you're an engineer on the floor, if you're a product engineer, if you're an estimator working with customers, all those aspects are within Cast and Steel and you have to do every part of that. So it really gives you a overall view of the entire industry and an understanding of what goes into making a casting.